What's up? It's my turn to get my package from E-Rides. That's right. The E-Rides pedals are here for what? The Sherman S, baby. That's right. The Sherman S is finally getting its upgrade to the pedals. I was waiting. I got the full Clark system on it, but I wanted to get the pedals from E-Rides because you know those are still my favorite pedals right now. So I wanted to see how, how much more I would love them on this wheel. So here we go. I'm just gonna cut it open. Um, oh yeah, E-Ride, baby. <laughs> Thanks, Afiz, appreciate it, bro. Uh, and yes, I did buy these. Um, that's how much I like them. Uh, so yes, I had some uh, demo pedals before, but I like them so much that I actually bought these because these pedals are just that good. In case you're wondering, they are just that good. So there's there's my E-Ride box. Let's see if we can get this going. Um, and I think I'll probably skip the video, put them on and then come back uh, instead of going through the whole process. Um, I know some people would like to see that, but not everyone. So I mean, we've seen these pedals tons of times. So many people are getting them. They're so nice. They do a great job with their packaging. I love how they look. Oh, they got the sticker here holding it down. Um, actually, yeah, I guess. Oh, oh, oh. Don't peek out. Don't peek out. Uh, let's see. We can pull this off. Okay. Oh, there it is. Oh. <laughs> all right so they have the different kind but i like the full pedal um i know you've seen the other ones but i this is what i like and i asked for ooh, these are nice i love how they look in the black and i want mine all black so if i didn't get the black tips then i will be painting them because that's what i want let me see. Nope, and they're not down there. So it looks like I will be painting them because although I love the pedals, you know that I don't, I, I, I got my black and green going on and these have to match. So I will be painting the tips to match that and then making these all black or maybe, maybe I'll make the tips green like I did on the Monster Pro over there. Let's see. We'll see how it goes. Anyway, those are those sweet, sweet pedals. Ooh, baby. Ooh, hoo, hoo. I like ye. I like ye. The E Rides pedals for the Sherman S. There we go. See, and now I know I have to wait to put them on because I don't want the yellow. Hmm. I don't know. Maybe I'll just put them on anyway because <laughs> I can't wait to ride with them. That's how much I love these pedals. The feel of them is, is just unmatched. Still, in my opinion, in the industry, still unmatched. These are still by far the best pedals made. All right, I'll be back. I'll show you what it's like when it's all done up. All right, I changed my mind. I threw my glasses on. I'm just gonna try to do this. Maybe I'll speed it up. I don't know, here you go. Let's make it happen. Let's see if we can put these on real quick. So, well, first of all, we got the nice pedal. Open that up. So I believe, yes, this will go here. This is the replacement for that one, right? So we're gonna need that. Let's see. Plate cover. Oh, the internals. All right, and then the cap covers. All right, so let's take off what we have. Let's take off what's here first, and then we'll reverse it. Try to stay out of the way so you can see. Force moves from the cover. Then you can see the spring part. I probably should. Bring you in a little closer, huh? Yeah, why don't I do that? All right, I'm gonna 
drop those in there. Okay. All right, that should be close enough for you to get the gist of what's going on. Now, I saw this on the, someone else do it. All right, so you pull that screw part out. It has the two nuts, one on each side. And then this is the little uh, hop. That spring is on the inside. You gotta pull that out and then that ratchet or the tooth end there. That, go, that goes on there, this goes on there, and then this goes at the end. So we know how those go. Those are those pieces and parts. Then we're gonna need to, I believe, loosen these so that the, yeah, yeah. They got so much dirt in them, I can't even really push in. You know what? I'm afraid. Afraid I'm gonna strip them out. So we'll start and see if I can just grip it enough to turn it. All right. All right. You can quite clearly see that these pedals are beat up. <laughs> As I said. This Sherman S has been well loved. <laughs> That's how I put it. It's been well loved. That's the only thing I'm a little worried about is the fact that the new pedals might get scraped. Well, they will get scraped up. I'm not a gentle rider. <laughs> Although I don't do crazy, crazy stuff. I do enough stuff that I do get scra scratches and all that goodness. All right, so that's out. There we go. And there we go. Uh, all right. So that rod does have a groove where it needs to go. Keep that in mind. Uh oh. Is it wide enough to get it out the middle? <laughs> I don't know. It went straight across. Nope. It's not wide enough for me to pull it out in the middle. So I do have to get it here. <laughs> One down. All right. Now I need all the bits and bobs. Bobs and bits. Once I, let's see, I need, I need something to clean this off. All right. There we go. Ah, I was just looking for the rods, and the rods are already here. Oh. Let's see. That's fit right in there. And that's gonna slide right in there. It's super small. Oh, <laughs> that's not a problem though. It is right here. It's one of these. Ah, there it is. All right. All right. So we got that off. All you gotta do is loosen the little Allen 
heck, uh, Allen key that's in there is super small, but we gotta so we take this off. That one goes that way. And this one goes this way. Slides right down in there. Oh my goodness. There we go. I got one in. Oh. Yeah, I gotta put it in the right way. So I got one in. Oh, neat. All right, here we go. Gotcha, gotcha. All right. Then it goes to the front. Then I put that up. Now, let's see if we can lock that in place. All right. All right. They're locked in place. All right, that part's done. Give that a little more room, like that. Okay. Then it was this, goes into this, and then the cap goes into that. These all fit into here. Is that all? Oh, <laughs> should have known that was a possibility. All right, my camera fell over. I don't, I don't know how that happened, but okay. Uh, let's see here. That's not, it doesn't want to stay. I really don't think I'm going to be able to get this to go in here and stay without turning it on its side. So I'll be back. All right, let's try it this way. <laughs> let's see if this is any easier. Because this, for something that seems so simple, is uh, giving me quite the run for my... So of course, right when I get it on its side and I get it working and I'm able to pop it together, my camera died, so... You didn't see that, but I was able to do it on its side. And as a matter of fact, I'll even pull it apart again so you can see that. Uh, oh, of course, it all comes apart now, huh? So once again, I put this in here. Uh, that gave me the, made it a little bit easier to put it together. Tighten it a little bit so it stays. And then take the cap, which is now stuffed under there. Now it popped together in like a second when, when the camera went off. Let's see if I can do it again. <laughs> okay, it needs to go on the other side of that lip. Keep it on the other side of the lip. And then this, oh, of course, doesn't want to do it. There we go. Bam. Pop together. And I can tighten that after I get the screws on. And that's all that was. But doing it uh, the other way, standing up, it just didn't seem like it was going to work. I guess you needed gravity to help you to get it to stay in place. Um, you may end up with the same situation if you do this yourself. So I did want to show you the ultimate outcome, even though I've been jumping through hoops here. For a while trying to get this to work and it took a little while but now it works so i'm happy um now i just got to put the screws back in put the finishing touch on
Are you kidding? Holy crap. I just snapped one of the, the little screws. <laughs> this is not even, it's on very weak power and it snapped it. So now I'm gonna need another screw. Wow. As a matter of fact, because of that, <laughs> I'm gonna use this screwdriver instead. So that doesn't happen again. It barely even tightened and it, it snapped. That I'm not happy about. That I'm gonna have to go get another one. Push the spring tighter. And there it is. Here's my ratchet. If I wanna adjust it up a little bit, I can adjust it up and then tighten it. For right now, it hasn't, it has a slight, they always have a slight angle to them anyway. So I'm gonna leave them as they are and I'm gonna rock with it that way. So I'm gonna flip it over and do the same thing on the other side. As long as this is tight, this is tight. These four screws are in there and this is tight to where you want it, then you're all set. And that's the E-Ride pedals installed on the Sherman S. So there, so there it goes, that's it. There's the E-Rides pedals. Oh, got that clickety clack going. But they're on, installed, and ready to go. Throw my foot on there and I can feel that concave that I love, the toe and the heel with the little extra acceleration. The grip, I can feel, I can feel the grip. Can't get my foot to move, I love it. So I can't wait to ride on these bad boys. So once again, thanks out to Afiz at E-Rides. Thanks for shipping these out quickly. If you were trying to put the if you were trying to put the E-Rides pedals on your Sherman S, I, I hope it helped you a little bit. Um, until next time, it's your man Black Cobra. Deuces.